Hello students, here we have a classic physics problem. A car starting at rest, undergoing uniform acceleration from an unknown distance to the left of these two lampposts pictured in the diagram. However, the car does travel the distance between the two lampposts 20 meters apart in a span of two seconds. The question is, at what distance to the left of the left-hand lamppost did the car begin the journey? So this is, this is not an easy problem, so follow along. It's going to take a couple of steps. But let's first uh, label our, our knowns and unknowns. So under the exclamation column, we know the acceleration to be 2 meters per second squared. We know the initial speed of the car to the left lamppost, which is implied as 0 meters per second, so it's being at rest. Uh, we also know that the distance between the lampposts and what's called an XLP distance between the lamppost 20 meters and the car spends a total of two seconds between the lampposts. On the question side, what is that distance, that unknown distance, the distance to the left of the left lamppost where the car began at rest, traveling at a constant acceleration of two meters per second squared. So as I list these knowns and unknowns, you kind of get a sense of what the which basic kinematic equation you're going to use. Anytime you're given an acceleration, a velocity, a distance, and a time, more importantly, distance and time, that pretty much uh, zeroes it down to the third basic kinematic equation. So here's the third basic kinematic equation. xf equals x0 plus v0t plus one half at squared. And notice I didn't know why. I knew I knew why I write it down because of the knowns and unknowns, but I really don't have a clue as to what I'm going to use it for. But I do see in writing it down that this initial speed might give me a clue as to what my moves are in terms of problem solving. Well, it turns out that this initial speed relates to the initial speed of the car once it passes the first lamppost. Because we're evaluating using these parameters uh, the motion of the car between the two lampposts. It travels 20 meters in a span of two seconds. So let's determine what that initial speed is. And as I think about that, that gives me an idea of the history of this car leading up to that point. If I know the speed at the left-hand lamppost, then, and I know that the speed as it started, which was at rest, zero, then I can use another basic kinematic equation to determine what distance it came, it traveled from the left lamppost. So I'm starting to get that feeling. Okay, I can solve this. But first, let's take those steps to get there. Uh, so the final distance, if we're going to evaluate the, uh, uh, evaluate the speed between, or at least the first lamppost, uh, we're going to call XF is 20 meters. So the car travels from the left to the right over a distance 20 meters. So I'm going to evaluate that as 20, and the initial starting point is 0. Okay, so the car starts at zero distance, moves through a, a distance of 20 meters, plus v naught t, and I know that the time between the two lampposts is two seconds. So this is actually v naught times two, and that one half times two, two meters per second squared, times two squared. I did use some e easy numbers. Uh, so solving this uh, for the initial speed, I get 20 is equal to two v naught plus one half times two times two squared. Uh, that's a little much. I already have that written. But one half times two times two squared. Let's see. Four times two is eight. Eight times a half is four. So this is two b naught plus four. Now subtracting four from both sides and dividing both sides by two, I get that b naught is equal to eight. Okay. Just using some simple algebra. So I now know the initial speed or the speed at the left-hand lamppost. I'm, not, I'm then going to use a second basic kinematic equation, uh, which is the second basic kinematic equation that appears uh, above the chalkboard uh, on, that, on that chart, and uh, determine the, the distance of travel from zero speed to eight meters per second. So this is let's consider the third basic kinematic equation, step one, and let's move to step two and write down the second basic kinematic equation. Remember, I am not skipping any steps. 
and you shouldn't either, because I give partial credit to AX. All right, so um, our final speed is actually going to be the initial speed from step one. Our initial speed is going to be zero. So this simplifies quite nicely. So substituting our initial speed in for the final speed, we get 8 squared is equal to 2 times 2 x. So we get 64 is equal to 4 x. And lo and behold, x is equal to 16 meters. All right. So there's the answer uh, to the question, how far did the car start from rest, accelerating at 2 meters per second squared, to the first lamppost? It is 16 meters. All right, there you go, students. Have a nice evening.